Ladies and gentlemen, live from our studio. Right. Our studio. Yeah. 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 That's right. This is great. Good morning, Dad. Good day. Good day. Good, Good day, day, mate. Good day. You're very, very inspiring. You're very youthful, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. very youthful. I've been with a lot of uh, younger uh, morning DJs, and yeah. you are the most youthful ones <laughs> ah. for a long time. So, look, and, uh, you know, and you're like my age. You're all the brand yeah. new. Uh, but you'd never know it from the voices and from the attitude and the comic timing. You guys, you're, 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 you're just pups. Well, thanks, Dan. God, it's so great to have you here. Well, we you know, know each other, don't we? You're one of those people that it seems like we do know each other. It seems like yeah. you've been here before. We've been here a long time. <laughs> well, I, I yes. said before, I said, Dan, you're only, I realize you're two years older than me, but it seems like you've been around forever. Oh, you know, well, that's well, extreme. I don't mean that in that <laughs> 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 The cool thing is, Dan, Dan may be two years older than you are, Tom, but in, in surgery years, he's, 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 he's <laughs> See, now, Dan, you got to understand, Tom has had surgery 39 times. How many of you have? <laughs> uh, I had my tonsils a while. <laughs> I'm a broken man. Are yeah. you a stunt man? Yeah, yeah I'm a broken man. Oh, yeah, you look yeah. good, dog. <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the good stuff. I wish but I was as thin as you. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have a roof problems with us and lose here. And, uh, when's Jay Giles? Is Jay Giles tonight? Jay Giles tonight, of course. Oh. It's a victory to be able to pull together probably one of the greatest blues bands that was ever assembled wow. in the history yes, of the planet with probably you know, one of the top five harmonic players in the, in the world. And, uh, Magic Dick. Yeah, I'm so, so excited about the Jay Giles. And, and, of course, it's sold out. I don't think you can get tickets. Yeah. I think they're all gone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just... You must hate that. Well, this is a reunion. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it's too. I can tell he's, he's hanging his head low right now. Yeah. So, 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 no, what's the story of the motorcycle? Uh, oh, well, you know, Dan's a big motorcycle fan, and we were just talking about this bike that you had. Are you still oh, no, I still it? have my... I, I, you know, I was, I, was, uh, I was 21 years old. I just moved to Toronto, and I... I saw this ad in the paper, you know, 24 police bikes for sale. And I went up to the woman's house in Rouge Hill, Ontario. She threw open the garage door, and there were 24 identical marked Ontario Provincial Police Harley Davidson electric wow. glides with wow. the lights, the crown, the siren, and everything. So, what's the story? She said, well, they were in the Golden Helmets drill team, and they'd been all over the world, and they were in Cairo, Egypt. And one of the riders killed him died. Yeah. And so the Ontario government went, that's it, the end of the golden helmets, get those bikes. <laughs> so they ended up uh, in an auction house, and I looked and I said, I just bought the one with the turn signals, you know, the one wow. that was sitting right there, and, uh, and I, I still have that motorcycle today. But Can I, I ask you one. what you paid for that? I paid uh, about, uh, I guess it was about twenty. $2,100. No, wow. wow. That's yeah. incredible. And it still, it still runs great, but uh, my, my regular ride is a 2003 FLH police bike that Willie, uh, Willie Davison got me uh, off the factory floor. Wow. When wow. I hosted the, the Harley 100 thing. Yeah, Wally really. does a uh, gold wing with training. <laughs> you, know, you, do not, you, you know, if you have a motorcycle, especially a Harley, with the sound and the feel of it, you know, you don't need a therapist. Right. <laughs> I just, I've ended psychiatry for most motorcycle riders. Just get out there. And yeah, you know, ride and yeah. 20 minutes on a bike and it's like to sort yeah, sort of thing. Came so. up with the concept of the Blues Brothers? Uh, well, basically, uh, uh, John and I met in 1970. Uh, it would be about 73. He came up to uh, Toronto, Canada, prior to SNL. He was with the National Lampoon Radio, yep. and he came up to recruit for the radio hour. He managed to steal Gilda away from Second City up there, wow. but not me. Uh, I didn't believe, but the night we met, uh, we fell in love, you know, in the first uh, two minutes of meeting each other. <laughs> and that night we were uh, at my after-hours club on Queen Street, and we were playing the Down Child Blues record, uh, which is, you know, one of Canada's famous bands, and John said, you know, Oh, now, what's that record? That's, that's good music. I said, well, that's blues, John. You're from Chicago. You should know about the blues. He said, I'm into heavy metal and crunch and <laughs> grand <laughs> funk and, uh, and yeah. stuff, man. And I said, well, you teach me about that, and I'll, I'll re-teach yeah. you about the blues. And that that's night, we, we, you know, we, you know, we were listening to music and, and thought it might be fun to, to put together a band. And Howard Shore was there, he, uh, and he, he named, it, named the band that night. He said, we'll call you the Blues Brothers. And then later, when we came to New York, uh, we used to, our first backup band was, was Willie Nelson. <laughs> Are you kidding yeah, me? Willie Nelson. He said, he said, you know, we were trying to try the act out. This was prior to going on the show or anything. Yeah. And uh, 
And he said, well, you know, he, we, we explained the concept to him, and he said, I'll, I'll back you up. I'll, we'll do five songs behind you. And we did it at the Lone Star Cafe, and we came up with a briefcase, the harmonica, yeah. handcuffs, the yeah. whole thing, and, and Willie and Mickey Raphael backed us up for five songs. That's a good then we had Duke Robillard in Room Full of Blues. We tried to yeah. set with them, and uh, he's, of course, a genius. Yeah. And then we moved on to the band we eventually got, which included, of course, Otis Redding's guitar players, mm -hmm. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford, yeah. 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 Hey, thanks, Great. Uh, we got to wrap it up here uh, with Dan. No! I know he's got to go. Come on. I want to thank you very much for uh, taking the time to drop by this morning, and we wish you nothing but all the luck in the world in the house. It looks like just an absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Well, thanks for the opportunity to talk about it. I know I'm bringing a great thing here to Boston. Oh, yeah. Patrick and Lyons and Michael and John Lyons. Have, you know, you've been going to their nightclubs for years, and this is the king daddy of them all, and it's going to be great music wow. coming to town. And, and all of the Northeast is going to benefit from this, both musicians, artists, technical personnel, employees, and, of course, uh, the concert-going audience. And all those Fenway uh, fans can come over for a, a nice cold beer or a shot of vodka. <laughs> 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 yeah, you try it. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to take a couple minutes here and pose for pictures with Dan and then so we can autograph them for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave here. Let's have to leave here empty-handed. Nice to be in here, buddy. Dan, this Thanks. is great. Thank you so Thanks. much. Yeah.